Hi, I'm Dave Thompson and welcome to Hyperbright Studios. Welcome to the ultimate guide for setting up your audio interface for guitar and vocal recording. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned musician, this video will help you through the steps to achieve professional quality recordings. First, let's start by connecting your audio interface to your computer. Locate the USB or Thunderbolt port on the back of your interface and connect it to the corresponding port on your computer. Once connected, your computer should recognise the interface. Next, let's set up inputs for guitar and vocals. Take an XLR cable and connect one end to the microphone. Make sure to connect the other end to the mic line input on your audio interface. For your guitar, take a quarter inch jack and connect one end into the guitar and the other end into the high z input on your audio interface. Now it's time to configure your recording software. Open your recording software and navigate to the settings or preferences menu. Select your audio interface as the input and output device and then set the audio sample rate to 44.1 kHz which is the standard for audio recording or 48 kilohertz if you intend to use the recording for a video. To ensure optimal recording levels, adjust the mic pre-gain on your audio interface. Start by setting the gain for your microphone. Speak or sing into the microphone at the loudest level that you are going to and then adjust the gain so that the peak recording level is at about minus 12 dB. Some vocalists like to record with effects such as reverb but make sure to use a low latency plugin such as Waze Vocal Centric to avoid latency. For your guitar, strum it at the loudest level that you are going to and then adjust the mic pre-gain to around minus 12 dB as well. Make sure on your guitar itself that the output volume is as high as it can possibly go and set the EQ levels to around the middle. If you wish to use processing on the guitar as it's recording, a low latency plugin such as Waves CLA Unplugged is a good option. Sometimes having a limiter on the master bus can help make recording more inspiring. A low latency option such as Waves L1 or DMG Audio Limitless can help with this. Now that everything is set up, hit record and start playing and singing. Monitor your recordings through your headphones to get the most accurate sound. Remember, practice makes perfect. Experiment with different microphone positions and different settings on your guitar to get the desired sound. You can also experiment with micing up your guitar as well as the vocals. Thanks for watching this guide on how to set up your audio interface for recording guitar and vocals. We hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or video requests, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks. Bye bye!